and welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the upper Midwest region. It's the week of July 30th, and I'm Jenna Hartwig Wade. Republican Governor of Minnesota Tim Pawlenty took over as chairman of the National Governors Association with the responsibility of providing broad public policy goals. Pawlenty has made it his number one goal to secure a clean energy future. Topping his list will be reducing CO2 emissions and expanding local renewable fuels. Officials gathered at the Iowa State Capitol to bring attention to Environment Iowa's 52-page report that shows evident signs of global warming. The research shows that last summer was four degrees warmer than the average summer temperature from 1971 to 2000 in Des Moines, Dubuque, Waterloo, and Sioux City. The report is called Feeling the Heat. A $2 million wind to hydrogen plant was dedicated in Minot, about 100 miles north of Bismarck. The plant is a collaboration with Basin Electric Power Cooperative, the University of North Dakota's Energy and Environmental Research Center, North Dakota State University's Research Extension Center, and other partners. The plant will use wind electricity to produce and store hydrogen, a first for the state. According to Electronics Weekly, Researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have developed a fully mechanical computer that is more energy efficient, uses less power, and generates less heat. The nano to make this possible have already been made, they just need to be integrated into normal computers. Ethanol producer Vera Sun Energy, based in Brookings, South Dakota, in the far eastern part of the state, is buying three ethanol plants from Dallas company AS Alliance's Biofuels. The three plants have a combined annual ethanol production capacity of 330 million gallons per year and will cost Vera Sun Energy $725 million. Finally, as a follow-up to last week's reamp roundup, the Illinois legislature passed a relief package of approximately $1 billion to Ameren and ComEd customers who have taken blows from increased utility rates of up to 24%. The bill is now being sent to Governor Blagojevich, who has indicated that he will sign it, according to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. The bill is hailed as an enormous accomplishment for clean energy advocates around the land of Lincoln. And that's it for this week. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us next week.